What's going on you guys? So another HP Elite Disc 800 G1. This is going to be a two down. So what you guys need, either a flathead screwdriver I'll need, or also you will need a Torx T15 screwdriver. But I'm going to be using my, this one a little bit a lot better, because using the bit instead. Very quick. But if you guys don't have a Torx T15, then you just have to use a flathead instead. So you're gonna move the side cover panel. And what I'll do is I'm gonna remove the three screws in the back from the power supply. Now, I'll remove the front cover plastic. And it's got clips on here. So just gonna jump like this to your finger. And it should come out. Now, you're gonna disconnect the SATA power cable from the hard drive. And the way you're gonna slide it is this little clip right here. So right here, you'll hold it up like this and it'll slide down the hard drive. You should be able to pull it out. See that clip right here? You're gonna press it up on the left and you, the hard drive will slide down. So what I will do is I'm gonna remove the two and a half inch SSD. It's also got a clip right here, I'll press it up like this, and it will slide down. You can disconnect the SATA power cable also. I'm gonna disconnect that quick. Now I'm gonna remove the plastic French shroud here. I will go ahead and disconnect this air cable. I need a flathead screwdriver. Now what I'll do is I'll move the RAM. Go ahead and move the heatsink CPU cooler. this up you're gonna disconnect the, the fan it's a four pin wire here to the motherboard before you remove it now I will need I need to take a paper towel and wipe down the thermal compound before I get my hands dirty so I'm gonna wipe this off <clears throat> I'll leave the CPU inside. I'll remove it the last part when I pull the motherboard out. What I will do now is remove the video card. Like this. And you see this clip right here? It's a plastic clip right here. You lift it up your finger like this. You're going to pull the video card. So 
so I can't pull it, so I need a flat screwdriver. <clears throat> so I'm going like this, and you know, this, I'm gonna show you guys right here. See that? And you know, like this, lift this plastic right here, and pull it right here, and it should pull it out. The video card will come out. It'll come out. This is an Intel Gigabit LAN card. Now, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try here. I'm gonna disconnect the cables. It looks like a power switch. Uh, CPU, CPU power here, four pin. And then you take a flathead screwdriver again. See the bent is right here. Lift it up. Now disconnect the USB header. Looks like a 3.0. I'm gonna remove the SATA cables. Looks like a U and that's like a USB the audio okay, cable. And there's a cable here you have to disconnect also. And I need to get a set of pliers. You see right here I have to cut this it's plastic. this up like this and the power supply guys will be it's got a clip in here you see that that clip right here you press on it with your screwdriver like this you gotta press it down and we'll slide to the right Forty watt. And disconnect. This is internal speaker. And the power switch. Also, this is the power switch here. See the cable. Power switch would be right here. Flat a screwdriver again. Lift this up here. And I'm gonna move the power switch. You do that right here. It's got a clip. So let me look at the other side here. Okay, can you see it? Okay, so. You see that it's got a clip? It's only hold by the clip. So I'm gonna try to get it off. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna look at the other side. I'm gonna get it off. Huh. Okay, so. So what I will do guys, I'm gonna leave the power switch on here. And it looks like it's not removable, so I'm gonna leave it on here, the power switch. Let's see. So yeah, it's got clips on the left, 
bottom and the top here. So what I will do is I'm going to leave it on here. I'm going to take it out because I'm going to break it. I don't want to do that. So, so what I'll do is I'm going to leave the switch power switch on here. And then we're going to pull the motherboard out. I'm going to start from the bottom. So it's got, let's see, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws you have to remove. And I'll start from the bottom. And they'll be right here in the right corner. And one here in the middle. And we'll pull the motherboard out. I'm gonna go to this on the right side. Just gonna pull like that. And then move the CPU. So I'm gonna show you guys the motherboard. It's a micro ATX PCI Express times 16 slot, two PCI Express times one slot, and the bottom Y1 is a PCI Express times four slot. Don't forget, here are three SATA ports. This is for the power, power switch right here. This is for the power, CPU, four pin right here, power, and CPU fan header right here. CMOS right here, you're gonna, CMOS clear the CMOS will be butt button right here. The battery, CMOS battery socket. If you guys are asking, what about the BIOS? Uh, BIOS chip is gonna be right here. You see that with my, with my finger pointed right here? That's the where the BIOS is at, it looks like. And let's see what else is a USB media header for this is for the speaker header on the back side USB ports 3.0 2.0 VJ port Gigabit LAN display ports and Use the back side So yeah guys, uh, this will be end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye